Hello, and welcome to this quick overview of TrackVIA tables. We're going to start explaining what a table is by using a very common example of a table most of us see on a regular basis, and that's a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet contains columns, which in TrackVIA we call fields, and rows of data, which in TrackVIA are called records. So let's have a look at what a table or a spreadsheet looks like in TrackVIA. Down here, you can see this familiar grid formatted layout of that same spreadsheet we were just looking at. So how did I create this table? Well, there's a few ways to do this in TrackVIA, and I'll walk you through one of the most common, which is an import. So I'll click on the admin icon at the top, and you'll see this tables menu. From here, I have the option to view an existing table, to edit that table, or create a new table. And I can do that from scratch where I build it together myself, or I can use a file import to create that table on the fly. Let's choose import so we can show off some of the features of import. So the first thing I want to do is name the table. And I have the ability to identify what I call an item in this table. So instead of just seeing record, for example, I can call this a project. Now what's unique about this import process is I also have the ability to link this data to an existing table in my system. So what that allows me to do is take a single record from my projects table and link it to my company's table, which I already have in my app. So what this allows me to do is link multiple projects to a single company through this single import. So I'm going to select my existing companies table, and you'll see that I need to have the field customer in my import file. I'll map customer to my company's customer name. So now that my import is done, I can view the results of my table. So now you can see I have my full spreadsheet of projects represented as a track via table. And this view should be familiar. This is uh, very similar to a spreadsheet view where I can directly edit the information in these cells. Just as I would with a spreadsheet. So now that I have this table in here, I want to walk you through how would I would edit a table or create one from scratch. Let's edit this table. Let's view the existing tables and edit one of them. I'm going to edit the company's table. Now this takes you to what we call our table designer. The first thing I'd like to point out, with any of our designers, you'll see this help panel on the right side, where I can quickly hop to other areas of track via to make workflow shorter, jump to our knowledge base to learn more about one of these designers, or use our interactive help that'll walk you through how to use this. In order to get another field into my table, I simply select from the available field types on the left side and drag it into the middle. In this case, I want to do a calculation on data. So similar to how Excel or a spreadsheet can use formulas to calculate data, Track via tables can do the same thing. So in this case, I want to add my two currency fields together. And that's as simple as typing the field names, which are available in an autocomplete box. So I want to take my license value and add it to the maintenance value. Then I save my table. Now when I go back to view my table, you'll see that I now have a total revenue column, which is adding my license and maintenance together. And that's a quick overview how you can create, manage, and import data into TrackVIA tables. Always remember, help is just a click away.